Hello, welcome to the channel Autumn's Boutique. I am Autumn and this is going to be my first ever haul. Um, so I don't particularly like watching haul videos. It's a very occasional thing for me. I tend to just skip over them altogether. But um, I have accumulated a lot of books so far this year. And I, you know, I it's like, it's a staple video for booktube, so I kind of figured I'd hop on the bandwagon and see how, like, you know, because I got some books and I want to talk about them. They're like, so yeah, that's what this video is going to be. Um, this might potentially be the first of many hauls, but it's more likely going to be the first and of not so many <laughs> haul videos on this channel. Um, I don't know. Tell me, like, let me know. Do you guys like hauls? Whoever's watching this, do you like hauls? Because like, figuratively, I like them because it like, it allows me to add so many new books to my like wish list and everything. But at the same time, it just like, I don't know. I don't know. They're not my favorite things to watch. I don't know. But anyways, let's get right into it. Um, this list is literally in no no order at all. Like, I'm just gonna pick up the closest book to me and talk about it. So I could not tell you when I got these, but it's definitely within 2021. This is all, these are all the books that I've purchased so far within the year um, of 2021. So yeah. I also want to say I have surprisingly read a lot of these books that I'm about to haul, which is crazy because I usually purchase a book and then let it sit on my shelves for months. So um, I'm happy to say that I have read majority of the books in this stack that I'm about to share. So that's really exciting too. The first book I'm going to talk about is Lost in the Neverwoods by Aidan Thomas. This is a Peter Pan retelling. It's kind of like a darker, eerie Peter Pan retelling. Um, and it's um, about Wendy. We follow Wendy. And where, where they're at right now is a bunch of kids just start going missing and a lot of people are turning to Wendy because just a few years prior her and her two little brothers were kidnapped and went missing and she was the only one to return of the three so they're kind of turning to to her to like figure out um like why these kids are going missing and if she remembers anything from when she got kidnapped and so it's just kind of like that and then you know there is obviously the peter pan aspect to it because it is a peter pan retelling i absolutely love this i had already i have already read it five out of five stars absolutely stunning just loved this book i'm so glad i purchased it it was so good um the next book that is on the stack that is closest to me is chain of iron by cassandra clare uh I purchased this when it first came out earlier this year. What, I think it was like January or February this year. I have not read Chain of Gold, so I don't know why I purchased this, but I wanted the Collector's First Edition um, because I have the Collector's First Edition of Chain of Gold. So yeah, that's it. I haven't read this, obviously. <laughs> But um, and I, this is the second book in the Last Hour series, which I think follows, if I'm not mistaken, it follows the children of the three main characters in the um, Infernal Devices series, I think. Is that what it's called? The one Clockwork Prince and Princess and Angel. That trilogy is my favorite, so I kind of figured that I would like this series. Um, yeah, yeah. All right, the next book I'm going to talk about is Fangs by Sarah Anderson. I have also read this one. It is a short, sweet graphic novel about a vampire and a werewolf that are, like, dating. It's super cute. It is so funny. It's, I think I gave it a 5 out of 5 stars. Maybe it was 4 out of 5 stars. It was absolutely cute. And the art style is stunning. It's so pretty. So, yeah. Then I also picked up... The Midnight Library by Matt Haig. I have also read this and unfortunately it, this book just wasn't for me. I mean I still gave it a three out of five stars. It was still enjoyable. It's just um I definitely thought it was going to be something that it wasn't so it kind of like let me down um but that's not the book's fault. That was completely my fault. It's about uh 
this girl who is contemplating suicide. And so instead she gets taken on this like trip per se through alternate lives that she has lived. Um, and that just kind of like plays into the fact of whether she wants to choose to actually go through with the suicide or live in one of the alternate dimensions or anything like that. Um, it was, it's really interesting. It's a really interesting concept and I really wish I liked it more. Uh, but yeah, it was good. It was a good book. Um, another book that I picked up within the last six months is Across the Green Grass Field by Seanan McGuire. This came out in January. Um, and it is a part of the Wayward Children series. In this one, we follow Reagan, who goes off to this Grasslands-esque, um, like, place, town thing, um, world. There we go. This, like, Grasslands world. And it's just a bunch of, like, mythical horse, it, horse figures. Like, we have centaurs and kelpies and, um, I think unicorns too. Um, it was really good. I give this a four out of five stars. I've already read it. I This is one of my favorite series ever. The Wayward Children series is one of my favorites. I really like Sean and McGuire's work. I think she, uh, I just, yeah, it's really good. So the next three books I'm going to talk about are all a part of the series and I purchased them from the used bookstore, uh, like kind of close to my house. It's a little far away, but it's still, it's like a 30 minute drive, but yeah. Um, and that is the Nancy Drew books. I have number four, 11 and 39. Four is The Mystery at Lilac Inn. 11 is The Clue of the Broken Locket. And 39 is The Clue of the Dancing Puppet. I was going to do a series where I read some of my childhood favorites, which the Nancy Drew books were on that list. I used to love Nancy Drew. I have my original copy of the Hidden Clock? Clock? I think that's what it's called. That was my favorite. It's also the first book in the series, but that was my favorite, and I reread that one so often growing up. Um, so I purchased these three, which I'm pretty sure, I know for a fact I read 4 and 11, but I think I I read 39 back in like elementary school too. Um, so I just, I purchased the ones that were available at the used bookstore because I was going to do a video about them, but then I never got around to doing the video. So, but I still got these and I'm looking forward to rereading these in the near future because I love Nancy Drew books. I loved them so much growing up. So yeah. <laughs> The next book I'm going to talk about is The Woman in the Window by A.J. Finn. My grandmother had read this and then she didn't like it that much so she gave me her copy. So technically I didn't buy this book but I was gifted it and I just wanted to include it because yeah. Um, it's a thriller um, and I think, I think we follow a woman who is agoraphobic and she witnesses a murder across the street. I'm not, I'm not really like 100% sure if that's the actual synopsis. I have not read it, but that's just like what I remember from the trailer of the movie that just came out. Um, so I think that's what happens. But yeah, I'm trying to get more into thrillers. So I'm really glad that I was gifted this and I plan on maybe reading it in the near future. I don't know. The next book I am going to haul is Before the Coffee Gets Cold by Tasha Kazu Kawaguchi. I think I pronounced that correctly. Um, I've literally heard nothing but amazing things about this and I'm not exactly sure the premise of it. I think it has to do with like a time traveling cafe. I am still very loose on the details, um, but I've literally heard nothing but amazing things. I've attempted starting this in the past, but I just wasn't like in the right headspace for something like this. So I haven't actually read past the first chapter. Um, but I really liked the first chapter. That was good. <laughs> so I'm really excited to read this. Um, but yeah. Um, and then I think this is one of the more recent books that I've purchased. Uh, and that is Legend Born by Tracy Dion. I'm pretty sure this book just came out like a couple months ago. I've already read it. Really, really enjoyed it. It was a four out of five stars. I, I just, I loved it. I was really nervous because I heard it was Dark, Dark Academia and I wasn't sure if I liked Dark Academia very much. I mean, I figured I did because I really like, like academic, academia books, but I wasn't sure if like the dark aesthetic would like, you know, repel me too much. I, I don't know. <laughs> um, but I loved it. It's about, um, a girl who ends up going to the college that her mother went to, to try and like learn more about her mother and like feel more connected to her mother. And then she finds out that she has like 
there like there are people with these powers and she has powers it's it's really good it's really good um that wasn't a great synopsis of it though and I'm sorry <laughs> but it was really good I really really enjoyed it and I knew absolutely nothing about it going in other than the fact that it was dark academia and that was what made it so enjoyable for me I absolutely loved finding out all the twists and turns without even like knowing what was happening you know it was it was excellent read. Then I'm going to talk about another book I got from the used bookstore near me and it is The School for Good and Evil by Samani Chinani. Chinani I think. Um, I I really want to get more into middle grade. I read a lot of middle grade as it is but I love I love the genre middle grade and I'm pretty sure this is a middle grade book. I'm pretty sure. And this is a series and I think there's like seven plus books. It's a big series I'm pretty sure if I'm not if I'm remembering correctly and I really want to like dive into another really really long series because it's been so long since I've read like a hefty series like I usually stick to three books max <laughs> for series just because that's I feel like that's the perfect number um but yeah so I'm gonna I I know absolutely nothing about it other than I think it takes place at a school and there are good people and evil people at the school. Not 100% sure, but that's just kind of the vibe I'm getting from this book. The next book I'm going to haul is from the desk of Zoe Washington by Janae Marks. I've already read this. I absolutely adored it. Probably one of my favorite books uh, I've read so far this year. It was so good. It's another middle grade um, and we follow Zoe Washington who... Um, who, who gets a letter from her father, which I... I can't remember the details exactly, but I don't think she knows who her father is. So when she gets the letter, she's kind of confused. Um, but her father is in jail and he, um, he knows he is innocent. He knows he's innocent. So we, we follow Zoe as she tries to help prove her father's innocence while she's still being a child and, you know, um, entering baking competitions. It was so cute. It was so sweet. I cried so hard reading this one. It was a five out of five stars. If I could give it more stars, I absolutely would. It was just such a stunning read. The next book I'm going to talk about is, actually, I think this is the most recent book I've purchased. Oh, jokes. It's not, but it is super, super recent. Recent. This book literally just came out, and that is The Anthropocene Review by John Green. This is his most recent book, um, and it's just a bunch of essays about, um, the, like, the, the planet and how it focuses, like, and how it is very, like, human centering, I get, I, what are words? What are words? I don't, I haven't read this yet, so <laughs> this book, I'm pretty sure, is the most recent book I purchased. I feel like I keep saying that, but I'm not, I'm genuinely just not sure anymore, um, and that is... The Girl from the Sea by Molly Knox Ossertag. I've already read this. I give it a four out of five stars. It was super cute. It's a young, or I guess it's like middle grade technically. Um, it's a graphic novel and it's got a lesbian romance and we follow a silky, silky? We follow a silky and it was just precious. It was so good. It was so, so, so cute. Um, and also we follow our main character trying to like, figure out her place in the world and you know really like becoming like stepping into her true self and it was just super cute it was just absolutely adorable all right and then these are the last five books i have for you guys um the first one is the song of achilles by madeline miller which is my current read i'm buddy reading it with a friend um so far it's really good <laughs> i'm only like Oh, actually, I'm 150 pages in, so I am a decent fit in. Um, and we follow Patroclus, who is the lover of Achilles, and we follow, like, their growth together and their, like, relationship forming. I absolutely love it so far. It is so cute, so good. Then I got uh, Heartstopper Volume 3 by Alice Oseman. I've already read this. I gave it a 5 out of 5 stars. This was my favorite in the Heartstopper collection so far. I've not read the fourth book, but I just, I love this series so much. It's so good. We follow Charlie and Nick, um, and I'm not going to explain what happens in this book for spoilers for the first two, but in the first book we follow Charlie and Nick. Charlie is an out 
gay boy and then Nick is uh, becomes friends with Charlie and then he starts questioning his sexuality and it's just such a cute like fun graphic novel but there was just such important themes and I just I loved it so much and I just I love this one especially it was so cute so precious okay so the next book I'm gonna haul is Sex and Vanity by Kevin Kwan I already read this I think I gave it a four out of five star maybe a three out of five star um I really enjoyed it uh it's just as crazy as Crazy Rich Asians but I actually genuinely like this one more than Crazy Rich Asians and we follow Lucy who is attending a wedding in Capri and she meets George and it is about like following them through this like summer in Capri. Well I guess yeah and it, it's just it was good it was really good I really enjoyed it. Um, and then this was also one of my more recent purchases since it literally like just came out and that is One Last Stop by Casey McQuiston. I actually was in the process of reading the e-arc for this um, when the book came out and then I purchased it because I thought I would absolutely love it. It was one of my most anticipated releases of the year. Unfortunately, I gave it a three stars. I still really enjoyed it. I just definitely thought like some of the things in it just we're a little not, you know, not in my taste for books, you know, and that's fine. Um, but we follow August who, um, moves to, um, this like apartment with, I think three kind of eccentric roommates. Um, and then she goes on the bus and she meets Jane who is like this amazing punk rock looking woman and she falls in love instantly falls in love and then it has like a time travel aspect to it uh i really I, I don't particularly like books with time travel but i felt this one was done pretty well um but yeah that's a short synopsis of what this book is about <laughs> and the last book i'm gonna haul today is the tea dragon tapestry by k o'neill um this is the final third and final book in the tea dragon series i absolutely loved it i already read it five out of five stars literally one of my favorite series i just i love this series so much and in this we like specifically follow mignette and greta um but we also see appearances from some of the other characters in the first two books and i just i absolutely love it it's such a wonderful wonderful like wholesome story and i just i love tea dragons i love the idea of tea dragons and if they were real i would like go out there and try and find them all and have them just collect them for myself because they're the cutest creatures in existence um and i just i love chamomile uh, they are my favorite tea dragons specifically, uh, just precious, literally just precious. Um, but I love the series so much. So yeah. So that is my book haul. If I counted correctly, that is the 20 books that I have purchased recently within the past six months. Um, I don't like, I don't particularly buy books too frequently. Um, so this is probably not gonna be like a monthly thing, like hauls are probably not gonna be a monthly thing if I do continue doing hauls. Um, but yeah, I really hope you enjoyed. I hope maybe, uh, you have some new books to add to your wish list and TBR. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, if you have any books that you want to recommend me from the stack that I just showed you that are, like books that are similar or books that you think I'd like from the books I just listed, let me know. I would love to add some more to my wish list. Um, so yeah, thank you so much. I hope you liked this video. If so, I would really like it if you click that like button. Um, thank you so much and I will see you in another video very, very soon. Bye.